10 Creepiest Surveillance Footages Number 10. Neuron Jaslyn Jasmine Neuron lived in the Wang Sang Maju township of Kuala Lumpur. On the evening of August 20th, 2007, she left her home to go to a nearby market and never returned. According to witnesses, an unidentified man forced Neuron into a white van. On the morning of September 17th, a sports bag was found in front of a shop. In it was the body of Neuron. When investigators checked CCTV footage in the area, they saw a motorcyclist dropping off the bag containing Neuron's body. The footage also showed another woman entering the van. The quality of the footage was too low to be helpful and the crime remains unsolved. Number 9. Jacksonville Clowns In 2014, many residents of Jacksonville, Florida reported seeing clowns walking up to their porches and staring at their security cameras. Some called the clowns funny, while others saw them as plain creepy. On one video, a clown took a pumpkin Halloween decoration and tore it apart before staring at the camera. The culprit or culprits have never been identified and the clowns remain a mystery. Number 8. Stephen Kosher On December 12, 2009, after months of unemployment, Stephen Kosher decided to travel from Utah to Las Vegas to find work. He was never seen again. His car was found in a wealthy area of Nevada with wrapped Christmas presents for his family inside. Footage was found of him walking down the street on the same day he disappeared. Some have speculated that he began a new life because of financial difficulties and unemployment. However, no trace of him has been found in six years. Number 7. Alan Geel On February 15, 2014, Alan Geel's body was found washed up on a beach in England. He was wearing only socks and one shoe and had headphones and a sock in his mouth. Nearby, a jacket, wallet and photograph of Alan as a toddler was found. The day before his death, he was seen on security footage talking to various people and wearing a completely different jacket to the one found on the beach. No one knows what Alan was doing in the area or how his body ended up in the water. Number 6. Trevor Dealey in 2000, 22-year-old Trevor Dealey was attending a Christmas party at the Bank of Ireland where he worked. At 3am he left the club and walked to the bank's headquarters where he had coffee with a co-worker. The last footage of Trevor shows him exiting the bank's headquarters at 4am before he vanished. More surveillance footage shows Trevor being followed by another man with an umbrella who was also seen waiting outside the bank as Trevor entered an hour before. The man has never been identified and Trevor's body was never found. Number 5. Jane Rimmer On June 8, 1996, Jane Rimmer and her friends had finished partying at the Continental Hotel in Perth, Australia. Jane's friends went home in a taxi, leaving Jane outside the hotel. This was the last time Jane's friends saw her alive. Her body was found a month later in a remote area. Bizarre surveillance footage shows a man approaching Jane and begins speaking to her. The camera then switches to another view and when turned back, the pair were gone. Number 4. Pamela Butler In 2009, 47-year-old Pamela Butler was found missing after family searched her house looking for her. Surveillance footage of the house shows her checking her mail days before but never shows her leaving again. Jose Rodriguez Cruz, her boyfriend, is shown entering the house where she apparently broke up with him on the spot and kicked him out with no explanation. The only area the camera didn't cover was a small window which was left open. Pamela's fate remains a mystery to this day. Number 3. Mary Ann Fowler On Christmas Eve 2002, Mary Ann Fowler was visiting her incarcerated husband when she stopped at a mall in Texas to buy a Subway sandwich. Moments after she disappeared, her purse, keys and broken fake nails were found scattered around the parking lot, probably when she was struggling from an attacker. Nearby surveillance shows a man forcing her into a Chevy pickup truck before it sped away. The suspect was thought to be Derek Todd Lee, a serial killer who is currently on death row for seven murders, but the footage wasn't clear enough to know exactly who the man was. Number 2. Jesse Ross 
In 2006, college sophomore Jesse Ross was visiting Chicago on a trip with his classmates to participate in a program called American Model United Nations. The event ended at 3am, however at 2am he left, saying he was going for a 30 minute break. He never returned. The last footage of Jesse shows him in an elevator moments before leaving the hotel. Some speculated that he may have fallen into the Chicago River. However, his body was never found and the case remains a complete mystery. Number 1. Matt Flores On March 24, 1994, Matt Flores was walking to his computing job in California when he was shot in the back of the head at point-blank range. Despite 20 other people being in the area, no one saw the gunman before he fled. His murder resembled a professional hit. Despite the security camera, Matt's murder took place in a blind spot. However, footage was seen of a Ford Explorer following Matt's white car. After the shooting, the Ford Explorer was seen speeding away. It is likely that Matt was a victim of mistaken identity and was killed by a hitman. However, no one knows the exact truth.